Johnny's been sending me pictures of a deer for a while. He's been getting on his cam. Uh, you know, I've had this, this deer in velvet. I've had it uh, as it's shedding its velvet, and then I had it after the velvet come off. It showed up on a game camera many times, and I, I had hopes that when the guys from Best of the West here, one of these deer would show up. You know, we, we hunted in this exact area that I thought it was for a couple of days, and it was just nothing. We had a couple of small bucks coming in. We had does coming in, and every day I kept thinking, well, this, this 10 is going to come in there. Johnny and I are going to get in the stand and see what we come up with. Been seeing a lot of deer, a lot of the small bucks in the early rut, running all over the place, running does off. Always just thinking the big one's going to step out anytime. We've seen one little buck kind of first thing in the morning, a couple of does, very first light. Everything kind of disappeared for a while. We were almost ready to, to call it a morning, honestly. It was getting pretty late, the sun was up. Some does popped over the hill standing right out there in the perfect morning, golden sunlight. I mean, just basically shining. Finally, at one point I pulled up and out steps a buck. I seen him, I was like, oh, there's a buck, there's a buck. And Johnny, he goes, that's the big 10, that's the big 10. That one got me excited. <laughs> that should have got you excited. I've been watching that deer since it was in the velvet. And uh, I think we got it down. 200 yards with our new slug gun. It piled him up. Got my heart going on that one. It was kind of happening fast. I was having trouble getting on him, and to be honest, I fogged my scope up. I breathed right on it, looking for him, trying to range it, look back, and I couldn't see through my scope. Last minute before it went behind that big slash pile of logs, it all kind of came together right there in the heat of the moment. To have this deer come in and get it on film was, was just phenomenal. He had a, a 200 yard shot at that deer and just dropped it in his tracks. It's just like you pulled a rug out from under it. It was just an amazing, amazing thing to watch. He's a beautiful, beautiful deer. Great buck to tag out on. Johnny and I have become good friends here. Is a big part of the TWRF, Tennessee Wildlife Resource Foundation. It, it worked out great. Right at 200 yards, and it thumped him. Great accuracy. Of course, we're running the Huskamaw scope. I couldn't be happier with this deer. Awesome deer. Thanks, Johnny. Anytime. We're definitely extending the range of a slug gun. A good shot's 50, 60 yards, you're really stretching it at 100, and what's really been considered a long range shot with one's 160 yards, we're definitely easily, effectively shooting twice that distance. What makes this slug gun able to shoot so much further than any other slug guns? You're looking at three to four inch groups out to 300 yards. They're shooting one inch groups at 100. 
We're using a Savage Action with our own custom bottom metal clip design. Another big key to, to our accuracy with this gun is we've had a custom made barrel, a lot thicker gauge steel. That was one of the first things we did. Harmonics and vibration have a lot to do with accuracy. We know that from our other guns and building guns for years and years now, that you have to have good, solid, stiff barrel. I've done a lot of product testing. My food plot in Wyoming, we've taken about six deer with this gun. Every deer that we've shot has been between two and 300 yards. It'll go completely through both shoulders. The Husqvarna advantage, you hear that a lot, we say that a lot. It's having the total confidence in your optic system, your turret system with your custom drop. Repeatability is the biggest factor, biggest key in what we do. We have a turret system that you're actually going out, you're finding your custom drop with this specific gun shooting this specific load, just like any of our other rifles, you know every time you have the, the repeatability and the advantage of a Husma optic and turret system on there. That's it for this week's product review. We'll see you next week.